Morning you guys, it's Karen and my apologies for seeing me with the same hair and makeup. Um, the only thing I've changed is my top, um, but I have a filming day today <laughs> where I don't have any dogs to see. I've started a new sort of a doggy venture, which I talk about over on Mrs Ginger and her dog. Um, and I'm also going on holiday in two weeks, so I just wanted to film as much as I could. And I really wanted to get a video up talking about the final, my final feeling about Plexa and also my final thoughts on my blepharoplasty surgery. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because I still regularly get asked about my plexa, plasma, non-surgical blepharoplasty as they call it, um, and what the results were. And I suppose that's my fault because I didn't do a diary part four of the plexa, you know, six months on or anything like that. I talked about it in my hooded eye treatments um, video so people who find it hard to see what my final th thoughts were on the plexa did it work why did I have blepharoplasty um, etc so it was two years ago that I finished my plexa treatment and one of the questions I get asked is how many treatments did I have a lot of people think I just had one treatment but I actually had three sessions I had them six weeks apart um, I found two of them really quite painful um one of them not quite so painful so i'm not sure why um it varies it will vary where you are in in your monthly cycle for a woman um as to how much pain you feel so it could just have been something as simple as that but i did find it painful but two of them were really really painful uh, but yeah six weeks apart um people ask a lot how long it took for the little dots on my eyes to disappear I don't know. The only way to to find out, I, I felt like I said it in the video, but maybe I didn't. And the only way to find out would be to watch the diaries because they'll be, you know, they'll be in order and you'll be able to see when they disappear. Um, I don't remember it being long. I think it was probably two weeks, but you can cover them up after three to four days. You know, you can conceal them with foundation, etc. But my final thoughts are that it's not something I would recommend at all. Uh, it's each set, each treatment costs about 300 pound, depending where you are, you know, depending if you're in the city or if you're outside of the city, etc. Um, it will cost about 300 pound per session. And the results it, they, it feels like you've got an instant result. You feel like it's all tightened. Um, and then as soon as that first treatment has healed, you feel like you can see a little bit of a difference. Then you go and have a second treatment and so on and so forth. And at the end, when it had all healed, it looked like there was a difference. Definitely looked like there was a difference. But that difference, I would say, lasted maybe a month. It didn't last very long at all. Um, maybe... I needed more than three treatments for my skin. Maybe that's to do with my hypermobility. Um, but I would say that I've had a lot of comments from people that have had the same experiences as I have, that they didn't find it did anything, that it did not work for them. Um, and there's a lot of videos out there. You know, my friend Jin Amber, she went through it and didn't find it gave her any results whatsoever. And it's a lot of money and a lot of pain and actually a lot of downtime to go through to get minimal results for a very short amount of time. Because if you think the downtime with blepharoplasty was probably, with my eyelid surgery was probably two weeks until, two to three weeks until it was healed enough to put makeup on. Um, and although it was only three to four days with the Plexa, there was three sessions. So that's nine days there. Um, and it was, I suppose you could say it was a thousand pound. The blepharoplasty was, was it 2,000 or 3,000? So, you know, it is a lot more expensive to have the eyelid surgery and I understand why people wouldn't want to do it absolutely because it's surgery. I had it done under local anaesthetic so I wasn't quite so panicked about it. But my final thoughts on Plexa, Plasma, Fibroblast, non-surgical blepharoplasty, non-surgical eyelid treatment is that I would not recommend you spend your money on it. Um, I have done a two videos I think on the hooded eyelid treatments series I was doing and um, the next one I'll be doing I think will be on microneedling if you want something that is non-surgical at the moment I would suggest facial yoga and microneedling okay on to eyelid surgery I don't regret it at all 100% I do not regret having the surgery even though it didn't particularly go well my eyes didn't look that much difference afterwards um 
I still don't regret it because I would have been curious forevermore and I would have wondered what the results would be. Well, now I know. Um, and I would have been sitting there thinking, oh, I wish I could have that, you know, so I don't regret it at all. I do like the outcome when I have Botox, but, you know, because I did that video, finally happy with my eyes, and it's because I have Botox to lift this brow up a little bit. And with that, I'm, I'm happy with the outcome and I'm not like, oh God, it looks terrible or anything like that. However, compared to older videos, I prefer my eyes in older videos, which is ironic um, because I can see that the skin is looser, but my eyes look bigger. And I think what's happened is I've definitely lost space here, even after the Botox, because, you know, my, the, the Botox, people think that I've had something that holds them up. You know, when I'm talking like that, and because I've had the what do you call it, microblading that's made a little edge there. It looks like this is how my brows are held up and they're not at all. You can see that they come down and you know, it's just because I'm animated and I lift my brows. Um, but in older videos compared to this year videos, I prefer my eyes in the older videos. But who knows how they would have looked now and how much of that is to do with surgery and how much could be due to age. You know, it may be that they would look even worse if I didn't have surgery because there would certainly be a lot more loose skin. Um, but I just feel that overall on my face, and there's other contributing factors here, but overall I feel like my eyes look smaller, um, that they kind of now look really out of proportion with my face, that my face, I've put on weight, like I said, so that is definitely a contributor. Um, I feel a bit better now I've dyed my hair with some red in it because I feel like I've got a bit more warmth to me, but I felt like I looked very pale before put on weight and like I said I feel like my eyes just sort of looked even smaller than they were before and I I feel that it's due to the the, the loss of eyelid space here um, which definitely happened because you know the whole brow droop etc even with the Botox like I said because when I relax you can still see when I relax that there is skin you know there's excess skin there's definitely more lid space for sure but there's less space here you know it used to probably be like that um, so would I recommend it? I would. I still would recommend the blepharoplasty, the eyelid surgery. I would definitely have it done again um, and probably will have it done again but in you know years to come, maybe another five years or whenever I can do that thing where you close your eyes and pull out the skin and you can't and it doesn't open your eyes. But I would definitely ask more questions at the consultation um, and see what whatever new surgeon I went to thought about the, what went wrong with this one, you know, what he thought about brow droop, what he thought of brow compensation. It's not brow droop because you can actually get brow droop that's temporary. And this is not that, it's not brow ptosis. This is brow compensation. So my brows, because there is less, it tightened, it pulled the, the brow down with, when the skin was taken. And I'd also ask the opinion on where the scar is, because I do think maybe the scar, maybe the, where they took the skin from was a little bit too low, but there could be reasons behind that. Um, so I definitely recommend it. Most of the people, most of you guys that had it done like at the same time or a little before or after me had brilliant results. Um, you know, you've got to know that there are risks, but to me, the fact that it, it went wrong, that it look, didn't look that different afterwards, I've not ended up looking terrible. You know, I feel like it was definitely worth it and it's definitely something I'd recommend. It's definitely something I'd have re redone. I don't regret it. But I can't say like a lot of people, oh my God, I love the results. I absolutely love it. I don't, you know, I love my eyes now, blah, blah, blah. I had hoped that afterwards I would want to be go back to using all of the bright colours on my eyes and more of the glittery things, but actually I don't. I've sort of toned down my eyes a bit more, I think, because I don't, like I said, think they look as nice as they did before. I think in previous videos before this year, I used to look at videos and go, oh, you know, you, you look all right and your eyeshadow looks pretty. I don't think I've thought that this year in any of my videos, it's more like, you look okay, you know, they look okay. Which you could say is a bit sad, but I don't, I'm not sad at all because, you know, I'll say that and people will, you know, leave either, either negative or positive comments about it, but it isn't a, thing for me like I'm just telling you how I feel about it but I don't dwell on that I've got many many other things going on in my life and actually most of the time I'm just in doggy clothes and really don't care what I look like um 
but when you're editing it's there in front of you and so you do have thoughts about it but I don't then continue thinking about it if that makes sense I don't think about my eyes aren't what I want or oh this eyeshadow doesn't look I don't think about it at all it's only when I watch videos back you could say actually YouTube is is not great for, <laughs> for self-confidence a lot of the time it's somewhere you can you know you can pick out your flaws and things that you like and don't like that you probably wouldn't notice as much you know um yeah because actually putting on makeup on a daily basis I don't I do notice a difference with my eyes I do notice now that when I use a brush for my crease color I'm not brushing skin backwards and forwards I'm actually putting a crease color on so there's definitely a difference you know and a lot of you guys have been complimenting me lately on it as well so um yeah those are my final thoughts on both of the hooded eye treatments that I've had um I wanted to commit to doing micro needling um because I've got a derma pen that I think works really well and I put numbing cream on and all the rest of it. I'm not somebody that can use it without numbing cream, but I haven't done it for, for quite some time now, so I've not really been sticking at it, but it is something that I want to look into research-wise and do a video for you guys. Um, and that's something I'd recommend. I would recommend microneedling or derma, what is it called? Microneedling, derma roller, or using a derma roller, um, and face yoga. They're two things that I would highly recommend. Um, so I hope this has been interesting to you. Let me know how your blepharoplasty has gone. I have heard from a couple of people that did have the same result as me and weren't happy. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's just in a way potluck as to the result you get. Um, that's everything. I'll list all of my makeup in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.